Okay. Um, I mean, people, it was interesting because there was, should we cut? <laughs> Frankie, okay. Frankie, why now? Why now? What was the, um, what was the last show you played? The last show we played was um, in, in the summer during COVID. During COVID. August 29th. And we played on the street in front of my buddy's uh, shop in an alley. So we got like three bands, and uh, this guy, you know, um, did sound. It was free. People came in their masks and stood apart from each other. And uh, it was during the summer, so it was like people were starting to feel like they could uh, go out. Go out as long as they yeah. were. I mean, luckily, San Francisco was. Everybody was reasonable and practical and masked and yeah. standing. There was no, like, bozos that showed up. Actually, people were really receptive because they clearly needed it. And yeah. it was at a time when, obviously, people were sort of bugging for it. Um, Six months in. Give yeah. 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 <laughs> My favorite street It's where I meet Everyone I knew Everyone I ever knew Makes me sad Makes me laugh Memory lane I look back I'm so confused are my thoughts true? What happened to me? What happened to you? Makes me sad, memory lane. Makes me laugh, memory lane. I look back, memory lane. To feel like you're making a connection or not making a connection because of the way uh, people were distanced and faces covered and stuff. I mean, it it <laughs> it kind of felt like some of the old days when nobody cared about your music anyway. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> yeah. but also there was less talking. What was the biggest thing you had to cancel? There was a home? Europe tour that uh, a buddy of mine in Spain had concocted in which we were going to go on his sailboat um, in the Cantabrian Sea. Cantabrian Sea. In which we basically hit port towns like Bilbao and a few, all the way into Portugal was the plan. We had started to build the itinerary and he actually was really holding out longer than I was. <laughs> you know that kind of, remember <laughs> yeah, that sure. gray area? And he was in Spain. Spain was hit pretty hard. Yeah early on and he was kind of like ah this is a bunch of bs you know like you know it's we're gonna do it just keep you know just 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 oh stay gosh. in there I was like, and i was the one being like nope man i don't think it's gonna happen yeah <laughs> yeah have your listening or media consumption habits changed at all since since everything locked down i probably watch more tv now than i did was you know i mean i've always liked shows but i obviously there's been a lot of Sometimes it gets to be around five, and you're like, "Well, the day's done." I <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> we'll start start the night shift. Exactly. But musically, I kind of listen to the same stuff I've always listened to. Yeah. You, are you listening more or listening less? I, I I've always listened in waves anyway. Yeah. So I have a lot a lot of dry spells where I'm kind of like not uh, interested in hearing music at all, and then times when I'm you know really trying to uh, investigate music again yeah. and it kind of 
really comes in waves. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. It's always been like that, though. I see a darkness coming our way. Not quite black, more dark gray. Easy to spot on a sun filled day. Stretches out as the day fades. The shadow stays with me till I'm dead. Sticks around when I'm up to my neck. Shadows stay close, don't pass me by. Split into line when I die. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Shadow, shadow, shadow. Do me times on the shadow of the I may walk alone, but I'm unafraid A wandering dog with no home Or just a shadow of a night ghost Shadow, shadow, shadow Shadow, shadow, shadow Recording anything? Got anything in the pipeline? Something? Anything ready to come out or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. I've I've actually been pretty busy this year. Um, well, I have kind of a country record kind okay. of coming, more folky country. It's in the press plant now. Wow. So the global shipping is kind of slower. So sure. it'll, I don't know when it'll get here, but um, I uh, produced Virgil Shaw's record over this year so that'll come out and i recorded my friend chris johansson's band uh, up in portland um like okay. it was pretty fascinating because we did it at this um uh, it's called the sow wester and it's got vintage um trailer lodge basically sure those kind of things yeah and they were based the, they were closed they were and i was like you know can we go do something while you're closed so we recorded in and well we recorded in a little um sort of hall but we all got to stay in a trailer like at night so it was really funny because we all <laughs> we all just would be in our pods yeah really like literally yeah and then just go into this hall be distanced make the music for however until we were burnt out and then go back to our pods <laughs> that was like <laughs> sounds great that sounds awesome actually it was amazing yeah. it was kind of, it was there and it was kind of it felt like a monk or something yeah. you know like when monks go must go back to their little yeah. room and yeah. they come out and they do those little those little sand paintings yep. <laughs> and yeah then, and then they and then they separate that's how it felt have you got anything booked for for this year 2021 i think there was a festival in idaho that got has push back to September 21 but I haven't heard about it for a while so, so I'd have to check in I, I, I actually had a bunch I had a Florida tour actually I just remembered oh that was canceled well, thank goodness for small favors that was canceled and it was so I was I was disappointed because I had never toured through Florida in all, all the years and I got this festival this sort of private show that paid, yeah. paid pretty well and um, I had my booking agent book a tour Around, around Florida. the 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 well-paying one, and I was yeah. like, you know, so I was like Tampa Bay, like Cocoa Beach, you know, like uh, let's do it. And he started; he was starting to gather Jacksonville, like all these things, and I was getting kind of excited because I wanted to go to Cocoa sure, Beach, and I was trying to find one in the Keys, like yeah. I don't know what. And then, um, and then COVID hit, and they didn't cancel my tour. I had to can cancel it. <laughs> So I I had to be like I'm I'm not doing that. Yeah, good. <laughs> so that, well, 
I could go do that now still if I wanted. Yeah, it probably could, yeah. Mask or not. I mean, I would go, I would kind of do it in a hazmat suit or something, like as a sort of a art. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, Well, Sonny, uh, thanks so much for coming down and doing this. Thank you. you. It it really uh, has been a lot of fun. It's been great to get together. Thank you, man. So maybe we'll see each other uh, around without masks on in the future. Although I like masks. Uh, Don't you like sometimes being kind of anonymous a little bit? I'm waiting in my room Setting my space dial in tune Waiting for my ship to come I have my needle, I have my thread I sew my uniform in bed Waiting for my ship to come I'm waiting in the street Waiting on these tired feet Waiting for my ship to come I have my outer space radio I'm waiting for my UFO Waiting for my ship to come Waiting for my ship to come